Hey guys, it's Dayang and welcome to another episode of R&D in which I'll be showing you guys a review and demo on a particular product. Okay, I know that it's been so long since I've done a review video but recently I've actually picked up this new LA Gold Pro Matte HD High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation and I've heard a lot of good things about this particular foundation all over YouTube and I really like to see the word matte on it because obviously it'll be great for people with oily skin like myself. This video is actually going to be a first impression video because I have never tried this foundation before. Uh, it's just that when I got it, I just tried to swatch it at the back of my hand to see if the colour matches me at this point of time. Just to tell you guys, um, right now, this is actually not really my real skin tone because I've just gotten back from a school camp like a couple of weeks ago and I got really tan. So, um... I guess that this foundation will actually suit my skin tone right now but if I were to get slightly paler, I may consider getting another shade. So enough rambling, just get on with the review. Okay, so I've just brought you guys closer to me so that you guys can actually see how this foundation works. I don't have all full details but um, all I know that it's actually gonna make your skin matte. It's supposed to be a long wear foundation and I foresee that it's gonna be a pretty long day today. I got it in the shade medium beige, if I were to get any paler than what I am right now, I will probably get it in the shade beige. All of the details of where I got this foundation from, like how much it costs and things like that will be included in the description below. Let's get on with this. I'm pretty excited actually. So since this is actually going to be my first time using it, I'm just going to shake the bottle. Okay, and I really like that it has a pump, which is great. You know, you guys can see it is a pretty thick foundation. It's not liquidy at all. It doesn't really like flow very easily and right off the bat i feel that probably right now um with my skin tone i think that it hopefully it will match me well so i'm just going to apply this side of my skin i do have a lot of pigmentations okay over here on both sides of my cheeks as well as my uh, chin area i've been breaking out after my trip and right now it's doing fine so yeah, I'm actually just applying it with a brush right now. This is the Morphe G1 brush. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, the honestly guys, the coverage is really not bad. Okay, and I can actually see that majority of my pigmentation over on this side, it's pretty much covered. Okay, if I ever like accidentally cover my face with the mirror, I apologize. Yep, and I, in case if you hear the vacuum, that's my mom downstairs. She's vacuuming the house right now and I'm getting ready. I'm supposed to get ready for like a... what is that called? I have a makeup assignment after this actually. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get ready and I thought that hey, why not just do a first impression since I've never tried this foundation before. Oh my god, I love it guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you that prior to this, I have actually primed my face using my favourite Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Base Mattifying Primer. I cannot live without this, okay? So, no matter what foundation I use, I always have to apply that. Uh, and I don't apply it on my entire face, just particularly like areas which I get really oily throughout the day, like in between my brows, my forehead, uh, the apples of my cheeks and my nose. Okay, it covers up pretty well, I would say, but I still prefer a little bit more coverage. Um, I'm not gonna like put on more because it's just not my style to apply too much foundation or just apply a second layer of foundation. I just don't like that. Okay, so I do have like about half, probably half a pump of product left on my at the back of my head. So right now, I'm just dotting it at the left side of my face and I'm going to use my Real Techniques complexion brush just to blend it out. Okay, I guess um, judging from how it looks right now, if for example you have um, a lot of blemishes like myself, uh, I wouldn't really recommend using a sponge unless if you want a very natural coverage because I feel that it's not covering as much as when I use a brush. Oh my god, I look so white and pale on camera, I do not know why. 
but I think it's because of the lighting and all. Probably there's like a flashback or something. Okay. Alright guys, so now I have done applying my foundation everywhere on my face and I gotta say that I do really like the finish and when I touch it, it has fully set and it doesn't feel sticky or whatever. In fact, there's actually like a powdery finish which is nice and I can actually still see my blemishes peeking through to be honest because I did not concentrate a lot on those areas with like another layer of foundation which is normally what I don't like because I don't like layering up my foundation because usually I prefer to apply like concealer just to conceal those areas I am gonna just apply my concealer on the blemishes as well as my under eye area which normally which is normally what I do whenever I apply foundation and I'll be right back So now I'm done with applying concealer as well as I've already set my under eye concealer using my Kat Von D, uh, what do you call this, Kat Von D transparent setting powder. And right now I will still set my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, powder which is in transparent. And this is normally what I do because I have to set my foundation because if not, that's not me. <laughs> okay, so um, I normally just apply it like really subtly like so and this is just because I love matte face and also because of the fact that I have very oily skin so yep okay so now I'm done it seems that the color and the shade of the foundation actually matches me pretty well right now the time now is 12.07 I'll quickly just uh, finish off with the rest of my makeup get my hair done and I'll be okay right. guys so now I'm done with getting ready my hair and I got a full makeup on and I gotta say wait where's my mirror okay and I gotta say that I really like how the makeup looks on me right now I'll just bring you guys closer okay so far the foundation is looking quite nice I would say okay and then there you go this is so weird. This is so up close. I'm actually just gonna head out in a few minutes and the time now is about 12.42 and I'll check in with you guys in a couple of hours to see how this foundation works. I'm back for a check-in and the time now is about 3.14, slightly above 3 hours since I've last uh, applied my foundation and let's just take a look. Okay, honestly, I feel that my foundation still looks really good. Um, over on this side particularly and in between my brows actually not really very much on this side it's this side especially i'm not sure what you guys can actually see on camera slightly shiny over on this side as well as here but it's nothing too crazy i'm still okay with it but usually at a three hour mark um whenever i apply foundation i would have already touched touched up by now um Looking at my nose, it is slightly blotchy but I'm not sure whether it's because of the foundation or it's probably because of uh, my contour. I'm not sure. But then again, um, since it has already been 3 hours and I have... Oh my god, I was sweating a lot guys just now because I was actually doing someone's makeup. And the weather today, not only it's warm, it's really humid as well. So I was sweating like crazy and plus the top that I'm wearing right now the material itself is pretty thick I have no idea why I'm actually wearing it so um, I'm just blotting my face using soap and glory's one heck one heck of a blot powder yep so I'm just gonna blot my face just to mattify it a little bit yeah yeah and that's great looks okay my nose is still a little blotchy but it's fine. I'm just gonna change, wear something else because I'm actually gonna attend Farisa's graduation after this. So I'll check in at the end of the night. So the time now is 10.21 which means it has been slightly above 10 hours since I've had this foundation on. So let's take a look at the condition of my face right now. Holy crap, I look like a grease ball. Oh my god. Okay. I look super 
oily guys like especially around my t-zone and particularly at the sides at this two sides the side of my nose which i don't usually get oily because i normally get oily around here but right now it's around here which is weird okay you know what i think i'm just gonna like take this um gatsby oil blotting sheet i i don't normally use this actually but i just see it in my makeup pouch and i decided to just whip it and <laughs> and just try to use it and see how much oil i can actually absorb using this oh anyway just take note that uh since the last check-in i did not touch up my face at all at all i did not blot i did not um, apply any blotting powder whatsoever and oh god look this is actually honestly it's really normal you know for a foundation to be able to last on my skin for about 10 hours it's it's really good i mean apart from the oiliness i can actually I, I, I can actually still see my blush which means my foundation is still there and I don't normally blot my face using a blotting powder. I normally just use a tissue and I'm just gonna you do just that right now. Okay, this is normally what I do. I never want to blot any excess oil. A lot of people tell me not to do this, but I don't care. This is what I normally do and it works on my skin the best. Huh, much better. Okay, it looks... Okay, guys, honestly, without the oil, my foundation still looks fresh. And I'm not kidding. I don't know whether the camera is actually picking it up but yep okay on my nose there's still some blotchiness uh from the check-in the other time or earlier this earlier today uh i guess it's probably because of my contour or maybe my highlighter i'm not sure okay so what if i were to blot my skin using the same powder which i used just now it still looks really really good really i mean apart from the oil just now my foundation still looks really 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 good wow i love it i love the foundation i love it all in all i feel that i really really like this foundation a lot and i gotta say that the thing that i really like about this foundation is that it does not um, oxidize on me which is amazing because normally foundations usually just oxidize on me and that is annoying i gotta say that i am very very impressed with this l eagle pro matte but having said that this is just a first impression video i this is just a first impression it's based on my first time using it so i'm just going to continue to use it for the rest of the week or probably months and i foresee that i will like this foundation i mean based on my first impression i really really like it as i have mentioned earlier all of the details of the products where you can get them and things like that will be listed in the description down below okay guys so that has been my review and demo video i really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching so if you guys have found this video helpful please as usual give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't or if you want to see more videos from me and also just a shout out to all of my new subscribers um i hope i can still continue to upload every thursdays there has been like comments telling me that you guys miss my videos i am so sorry but yeah i just didn't really have the motivation to film but when i do like today i will film a video for you guys so till then i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys